guys, Matt here. Welcome to the first edition of eBay Horror Stories. So in this episode here, I'm going to talk about some of the um, terrible things, terrible situations that have happened to me over my past uh, eight years. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it short and just tell you uh, one story here. So uh, when I first started... Um, I sold a lot of products at that time. I had I built myself up to about 2,500 active listings on eBay, and uh, so you know when you have that many products, and uh, I know some of you have much much more than that, and that's great. But uh, for me, that was a lot, especially uh, just starting out, you know. So um, I had a guy buy a system off of me, uh, and I don't know, you know, I can't remember what it was. Now it's been so long ago, but I uh, bought the system and said uh, the system doesn't work, you know. And I said, well, it it did work. You know, it worked fine for me. I test everything. You know, I wouldn't have sent it to you if it didn't work. And he says, well, I'm going to need to return this item. I need a full refund for it. And I said, you know, that's fine. No problem. You know, pack it back up, ship it back to me. Um, and at that time, uh, I don't think it was required for us to do um, it. My cost to, to take the return shipping. But I certainly told him that, that I would and he could send it back and I'd reimburse for the uh, return shipping. And he says, well, can't you just uh, go ahead and issue a, a full refund? And I said, well, no, sir. Um, I, I appreciate that, and I'll be more than happy to accommodate you, but I will have to have my item back before I can send you a refund. Because, like I say, I know the item worked when I sent it out. And, uh, you know, I, I think the guy's just trying to pull a fast one. So, of course, I'm not going to just give a full refund. Of course, it was a considerable amount of money, too. So it wasn't, it wasn't like I was just going to eat that money for for no reason at all without getting the opportunity to get it back see it make sure that that he's right and you know so i say um well you know yeah go ahead and send it back and, and then i'll reimburse you and then he says you know okay or, or something to uh, like that you know and uh, let it go so a day or two go by and i get another message from the guy and this time he says uh have you sent me my uh, refund yet and i said well, no, I, I haven't got the item back yet. Have you shipped the item out? And then he contacts me back and he says, well, I can't ship it to you. I don't, how am I going to ship it? What, you know, how, how am I supposed to do that? And so I tried to respond and try to, you know, be as helpful as I can be. I'd say, look, just put it back in the box. It was, it was shipped in, use the original packing it was shipped in, um, and just, you know, go to the post office and, and, ship it to my return address it's on the top upper left hand you know portion of this package well i can't get to the post office well i have no way to get to the post office and i said well you know i i'm sorry but unfortunately you're gonna have to ship the item back to me you know now i don't know where the guy lives at maybe he lives in a remote part of alaska I, you know i don't know i can't remember where it was at at the time but um he says well yeah i'm i'm a I'm a Vietnam vet, and I'm injured, um, a veteran of foreign wars, and I have no legs, and I'm in a wheelchair, so how am I supposed to get to the post office, you know? And uh, so, I mean, immediately, I, I guess I say, well, you know, D, I, I thank you for your service. I appreciate that. But unfortunately, in, you know, for me to return this item, I'll have to have the item back, and then I can issue you a refund. And then it was a bunch of, you know, cussing at me and how I don't, respect my veterans and i you know i'm i'm um you know not a racist but uh, uh another word that he used it was slanderous you know and i say so I, at this point i realize that you know nothing i say or do is gonna satisfy this guy so um my best suggestion is just uh you know sir at this point i would suggest you contact the ebay customer service and open up a return case uh against me for this item and we can handle it that way you know so uh, lo and behold, a case gets open against me. I accept the return. Uh, I think I purchased a label back then at that time, or somehow they took it out of my account. And I, it's different now. This was several years ago. So, um, But anyway, I, I just said, okay, well, that's fine. So I'll get it back, and I'm going to get a negative mark on this one, and there's nothing I can do about it. You know, uh, All I can do is take it back and give him his refund and, and, and take my lumps and, and move on, you know. Some people you just can't satisfy, guys. There's sometimes that there's just customers that no matter what you do, no matter how helpful you are, even if you're right and you're absolutely right and you did nothing wrong, they're mad and they want their money. And if you don't give it to them, they're they're going to leave you a bad mark. So I knew that was coming, and, and that's fine. I, I'm 
prepared to take, especially on an item that was, I don't know, it was more than $50, you know, so. Uh, so the next thing that happens is uh, a few days go by, and I get a message from eBay, and it says, don't worry, um, we have refunded the buyer for this item. You don't have to do anything. So that's the first time that had happened, so I thought, well, I better call eBay on this one, because if they take that money out of my account, I'm going to be mad, you know, because... I didn't do anything wrong, and I didn't get the item back, you know. So I call customer service, and I talk to somebody, and they say, basically, yeah, uh, we went ahead and took care of it for you. Don't worry. We refunded them, them their money. Um, you don't have to do anything else. We'll close the account out in neither favor, meaning not in my favor and not in their favor, just in eBay's favor in the middle. So um, I thought, well, that's kind of ridiculous because this guy's, not even return the product and and he has an option and I said I would accept the return and he can't return the product to me and they said well sir you don't have to worry about it anymore all I can tell you is that um, you don't have to worry about this the case has been closed and, and you don't have to worry about it and of course I knew I was going to get a negative feedback and I said am I going to get if, if this I get a negative feedback over this can it be removed and they said well no it's not removable unless he curses at you or slanders you or you know in in some way or does something else that violates ebay policy he can leave negative feedback if he likes and i thought wow that's that's completely inconsiderate of ebay considering that i would have taken that on myself and in and, and issued that return and it's i mean yeah you think well that's a good thing right i didn't have to put the money out for it so i still got my items sold and i still got the money well yeah but here's the here's my problem with it i think the item worked when he got it I think there's nothing wrong with the item. I think maybe the guy doesn't know how to work the item, doesn't know how to hook it up correctly to his TV or something like that. I don't know. You know, like I say, it's been a while, so I can't remember all of the um, things that, you know, uh, surrounded the case, but I just couldn't understand why the guy didn't just ship the damn thing back to me and let me take care of the refund, you know. So I think he's a scammer and wanted something for free, and he got it. eBay allowed him to do it, and, and he did it, so... That's my horror story for today. Um, we'll get um, more of these as, as we get on into the future here. I'll, I'll create more of these these uh, issues like this. And guys, you know, eBay isn't really bad. Uh, it isn't a bad place to sell your items. It's just from time to time, you know, those scammers are out there. It, it's it's part of life. They're, they're in as every aspect of our lives. So, you know, you just got to be, um, do your due diligence um, and, and, you know, and be helpful and be, smart about what you do and make sure you know your policies and you know what you can do and what you can't do and make sure you just follow everything in detail and and follow the um specs to a t on what you should do how you should handle return you know and um and i i found i learned from that and and i grew from that and now when i i do have a situation i think i am a little bit more in detail with with my questions i ask and things like that and ebay's kind of grown too from that so there's a little bit easier ways to handle the situations and stuff so you know uh, that hasn't ever happened again i've sold thousands and thousands of items on ebay it's very very rare that i have anything come back at all let alone somebody try to get something for free so you know just just a word words of the wise that uh you know those things do exist and they do happen on ebay but it's not an everyday thing it's certainly not something that happens all the time so don't be afraid to sell on ebay ebay is a very good platform for moving some merchandise uh, especially things that, um, you know, are going to be hard to sell in your store or hard to sell on Facebook or hard to sell in any groups, uh, anything like that. So it's, uh, it's definitely, you know, a good place to, uh, and buy and sell items. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that too. Visit my website guys. It's www.mattsvintagevideogames.com. Have a good day guys. Yeah.